Good morning, it's another day, another hotel, and this time I'm in Puerto del Carmen. Well, actually, I'm between Matagorda and Puerto del Carmen, and I'm gonna go and take a sneaky peek at the La Heria Hippotel four-star hotel. It looks beautiful. We're gonna have a look at the pools, the surrounding areas, and we're also gonna see if we can have a sneaky peek in the restaurant. So come on, I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go and have a look at the La Heria Puerto del Carmen slash Matagorda. Let's go. How good would it feel when you arrive on the coach or the taxi at the Hip Hotel, walk through the doors and you're met with this beautiful reception. Now everything is downstairs as usual here in Lanzarote and downstairs you've got loads of stuff going on. Now this looked like what was the entertainment area which I'll show you in just a couple of minutes but I had to head out to that big beautiful blue pool because that's what you lot want to see. The outside was spotlessly clean and just as modern as the inside and look at the pool with the blue sky, the sun shining, who can see themselves sitting around here sunbathing in this hidden gem. Now there was plenty of space around the pool, lots of sunbeds and guess what, nobody had the towels down so there must be enough space. It doesn't seem to be one of those hotels where you have to get up early and get your towel down which is always a bonus. Down towards the bottom end of the pool you've also got places to chill out and relax and you've got beautiful sea views here as well looking over Los Pasillos area. Now this isn't an adults only hotel, there was a little park area for the kids and little places where you could play a little bit of table tennis, there was also the big giant chest that you can play as well or you could chill out under this little gazebo and just relax and watch the world go by, perfect. Wow, this place is beautiful. And I thought that it was quite a big place but it's actually not, it's got that sort of nice sort of small but big feeling about it so it's really really quiet and peaceful it is early doors but it's still got that sort of peaceful relaxing vibe about it and whilst i thought it was big it's because when you walk along the front and you see the back end of it it looks quite long but it's actually quite a small little complex it's beautiful and the back door leads you right over to los Pasillos. and i tell you what with these gardens look you can chill out at the pool or you can just come and wander around here and listen you can hear the birds, you can hear the planes landing, beautiful. I would say that most of the rooms have a pool or a sea view and it's all built in a semicircle surrounding the pool area and overlooking the Los Pasillos beach, just amazing. And imagine waking up on your balcony, getting yourself a coffee and just overlooking these magical views of the La Heria. Gorgeous. These tables and chairs all led off the pool bar, which is where you get your drinks throughout the day. Now it was closed because it was early doors, but there was a little stage where they do entertainment. But I reckon the main entertainment is inside. Now this was the inside area with all the comfy seats, the sofas and the bar area as well. So this, if you like a good drink, is where you'd be spending a lot of your time. And this whole inside area is surrounded by the restaurant. And guess what? I'm getting brave in my old age, so I thought why not take you in and have a good old nose around. Let's go. The restaurant has also been refurbished and I'll tell you what, it's super modern, it's super bright and it had that new restaurant smell about it. Now walking in, you've got loads to choose from for breakfast, you had your yogurts and your fruit and your cheese. There was also plenty of hot stuff on offer, including baked pineapple. Again, what nationality is eating baked pineapple for breakfast? I'm not sure. Should it be on a pizza? Should it even be on breakfast? Who knows? But there was loads of different stuff to choose from. We love a bit of show cooking in a hotel and this lovely lady was making pancakes and all different varieties of eggs and check this out you can get yourself a full english with hash browns and bacon absolutely perfect loads of pastries and breads that are probably going to put you in a coma ready for the day but if you like that sort of thing you're rocking and rolling and loads of fruit juice as well and just look at the size of this place it is beautiful you could really enjoy breakfast dinner and lunch but i had to go so let's get upstairs to reception and have a little nose around 
So the restaurant is beautiful with loads of places to sit and chill out and relax. Big comfy sofas, you can just sit here and have a nose at what people are up to. I love doing a bit of people watching in a hotel reception. And all the rooms led off this place as well. So through here was where the corridors were that lead down to your room. So this is where you'll be getting in and out your room for your week or two weeks stay. I just love this in reception as well. This big beautiful window with the light shining through and I could just see myself sitting on them settees and relaxing. Just gorgeous. So here I am at the La Heria and what can I say about this place? I can sum it up in one word, cosy. Now as I've said in the video, this place looks big from the outside but when you get inside it's got that real cosy feel. It's really nice, really quiet, really peaceful, not loud and in your face. It seems like there's only one pool, I may be mistaken, I mean I am having a look around as much as I can but there seems to be one pool but it seems to be quite big as well. Now you can get access to the main Puerto del Carmen strip just out the back gate which is perfect you're literally right opposite Los Pasillos beach and if you turn right it takes you into Puerto del Carmen if you turn left it will take you in to the sort of Matagorda area so you slap bang in the middle of both sides so it's perfectly located now when you arrive at the La Heria, you'll probably be thinking wow we're really far out the way but you're not you are essentially the hotel is built quite far away but when you come down through the pool, out the back gate, bang, you're right in the middle of Porta del Carmen, Matagorda. So it's perfect. Restaurant looked amazing. The food looked so good. And it was such a modern restaurant as well. Now, this place has not long been refurbished because I remember this, time, this place from past and it definitely wasn't this modern. So it's certainly been done up. That's the reception area, the restaurants. Um, I don't know what the rooms are like. So if anybody stopped at the rooms, make sure to make a comment. Let us know what those are like. And don't forget, if you are coming to Lanzarote and stopping at the Lajeria and you want to give me a little sneaky peek around your room, just get in contact. I'll come and we'll have a little chat on the terrace. What I liked about this place was all the rooms sort of overlook the pool area and the sort of views outside. And it seems like there's two levels. Plenty of things to do, restaurants, loads of entertainment. I've seen a number of stages sort of set up for entertainment, indoors and outdoors. A tiny little gym as well. So you've got everything you need. Anyway, I need to go. So make sure to like, follow and subscribe the channel. And if you want me to go and have a look around any of the hotels in Lanzarote, Fuerteventura, we'll even try and get over to Tenerife and Gran Canaria. Just let me know and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.